How the labor shortage is fueling automation. A window to the future. Robots are cleaning our houses, doing construction work, and machines assembling products from scratch without any human intervention. No, this is not just limited to the realm of science fiction. Constantly evolving technologies and the impending need for workers are set to change the very foundation upon which economies thrive, the labor force. There are already numerous industries where workers have been replaced by machines, and the trend is only expected to accelerate further. The need for additional workers is encouraging the push towards developing more and more automated technologies. A shrinking population. While overpopulation has always been demonized and discouraged, with some countries like China adopting extreme measures to rein in their populations, the future looks much different. Worldwide population growth statistics are following a downward trajectory. Increased education, better health care facilities, improved access to birth control products, increased marriage age, and other such factors have resulted in falling birth rates across the world. This means fewer people joining the workforce later on. With the current state of affairs prevailing, it is expected that the working population will start to go down as early as the year 2050. In addition to this, many countries are facing a growing elderly population that needs to be supported. Demographically this means that a smaller and smaller number of the working population must work to support an increasingly elderly population. The need for automation. Aside from an impending labor shortage, a need for automation is also fueled by the simple fact that the nature of work, on the whole, is changing. Labor-intensive processes, like farming, are being replaced by machines that are programmed to efficiently and effectively complete the work of hundreds of workers. The automation of certain processes within a single assembly line has also made tasks mundane and boring for human workers, which has resulted in reduced productivity. All of this ultimately means that replacing human labor with automation is a more feasible option for businesses. Machines are reliable, efficient, and do not require motivation. A machine simply does what it is programmed to do. Will robots replace humans? Does this mean that robots will take over and human labor will ultimately become redundant? Not at all. Automation is not a bad thing if it is seen as complementing rather than substituting human workers. Machines will take over the mundane, repetitive tasks, while human workers will be delegated to tasks that require a much more complex set of skills. This naturally means that workers will be required to learn new skills and develop themselves since simple tasks, like screwing jam bottles, will be done by machines. Not only will be this means a drastic change in the size of the labor force, but also the composition of the labor force as well. There will be fewer factory workers, so fewer blue-collar jobs, but more office work. The introduction and wide-scale use of machines will give rise to the demand for maintenance and programming work. In short, automation is not a bad thing. It is set to make up for the expected worker shortage, keep costs low, and take over low-skill jobs that can be extremely demotivating.